I just want to say this before I go. Hey, Uda, how you doing? Um, hey, nice you know, I just been mad. I, I, I just been pissed off since November 10th. And, and I have to keep reiterating this so, you know, people can understand where I'm coming from because I don't think people really understand what I'm, where I'm coming from. You know, and I just want to keep reiterating so people can hear me. I've been pissed. I've been pissed since November 10th, since I heard what he said about my pastor, about my church. Okay. This woman is not, this woman, oh my God, this woman is like a second mother to me. She's like, I've been knowing this woman since I was 13 years old. I've been knowing this woman since I was 13 years old. And for him to come out and talk, talk about my pastor being a being a lesbian and saying that she's running a gay and lesbian church. And it, it just, it just hurt me. It, it hurt me. So, so I've been mad. And every day I've been, I've been mad since November 10th. And I've been waking up. I just been pissed. And it seemed like every day I just been getting more angry and more angry every day. And I'm standing in front of the mirror last night asking God, Lord, help me to forgive Help me, Lord, to forgive this man for saying what he said oh, no, about saying, me. Sister, no, and I was just, I was just mean, like, it was just bothering me so bad, like, sister. Right, listen, sis. I'm saying yeah. saying is right. People got the right to their opinions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so let people. We, this is, what I'm <laughs> this uh -uh. is what this is what I'm bringing up. That's one reason why me and Aaliyah. Aaliyah told me straight up she can't deal with me because I don't like Elijah Muhammad. She I don't have a problem with you. I I don't no, I can't deal with Black Sun. I don't have a problem with you. I can't deal with Black Sun. I, that's what that's I'm saying. It. But I don't want you to be on. But your I will pray. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I will pray and ask God to forgive me I just and, and also for me to help me to forgive him. I, I will do that. I can do that. Nobody. I just been busy. I, that's why I have not been talking to anybody. Not even him really. I've been working on my debate and stuff. You said on your show that you know Black Sun has caused a problem with us. Black Sun didn't even tell me that's how he felt about your pastor. Black Sun has not discussed you with me. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So there was no dagger or anything that was wedged between me and you. I just been working and busy. I ain't even been on my own show. See, see, this is what I'm talking about. This is, see, I've been mad and all this stuff. Been, see what I'm saying? All this stuff coming into my head because out of anger. I'm just going to be honest, out of anger, okay? All this stuff popping up in my head, okay? And it, it, that's why, I, that, you know what? At this point, I'm, I wish I had never listened to that video. I, I got to be honest. I, at this point, I never, I wish I had never listened to that but video. I just went on and decided to listen to it on I'm November 10th. Okay. Even if you did or didn't, when you was on one community, this is what I'm saying about people. Well, we passed that though, Sister Noble. Why? Right. Thank you. You Uda. came and speak with me. You came and I spoke with Brother Blackson and I spoke with you. I brought y'all both on the channel. Yeah, for I know. Specific reason. Listen, Sister Noble, let me speak, right? Sister Noble, you know, I got your back from day one since I since you've met me. Anytime I lift your help you lift your voice like any other person, but you know, since day one, I don't restrict you on anything you want to say, just like anybody, people are speaking what they want to speak. You know what I'm saying? Brother Blackson came on to speak his part as well. You know what I'm saying? And we came to an agreement. I thought that y'all did because I didn't really, because I didn't really know. Yeah. The my sister Nandy was there and we came to the agreements that it was a, an, another party that was in the middle of all of that, stirring the pot. I kind of remember that there was another part. Yeah, that but that's not, that's not that's not true. That's not true. Right? But I, I hear you. All right. So look now. So at the end of the day, you know, we gotta we gotta take our time. You know what I'm saying? Like, Sister Noble, we gotta take our time. Like, you don't see me, like I'm not banging on nobody, man. When you see me talking, it's because I be behind the scenes telling people the realest shit of my life that they can understand, and people are playing games and they lying. So that's why you see me come out. That's why you see me some audios a leak, because we not playing those games with these people because these people is liars, man. I'm not living like that, man. You see what I'm saying? At the end of the day, there is no drama between you and Brother Blackson or mm. Sister Nanny. Let's be well, real. I know it ain't no drama between me and Let's Andy. Let's be real. Let's just keep it 100,000 bands right now. It's no drama between y'all, really. It's really not. I think it's more of a, of, a, of, a, of a caring about each other vibe than it is this other kind of energy. So that's why sometimes the other energy kind of throws me. It kind of throws me. 
Because I think you care about Brother Blackson more than that. Well, I'm going to tell I you, I, I'm, I'm, I'll pray and ask God to help me to forgive him. Ask God to forgive you me. You already too. forgive him. I was just going to say that you, you already I know, I forgave him. him. I surely did. I forgave him on no, uh, no, not November. Him. I forgave you him on October 25th. Yeah. You I forgave him. Forgive actually, him. I forgave him on October 26th. And since you forgave from you Sister Nova, you did it. Yeah, October 26th is when I forgave him. Sister Nova, you talked about him taking you to dinner. You talked, he came over there and helped you with some stuff. Y'all been doing I surely did. Together. But I'm saying everything's been going well. Yes. Mm -hmm. An opinion. Yeah. An opinion. Yeah. That should yeah, be. Yeah, I, I forgave him on October 26th. I did. That's true. You know, so that's, that's true. where we got to go I'm, with I'm it. I'm have to forgive him again. I just can't fuck with him no more. But I am going to have to forgive him. That's what I'm going to have to do. That's this man, what I'm going to have to do. <laughs> so, no, okay. you're not this man. <laughs> I can't well, fuck I with him no more, but I will forgive. That's what I'm saying. You have an opinion. You might have an opinion about brother some things. That's not taking him away from you. You don't. You don't no, agree with him. That's what I'm saying. I'm you don't agree with him being an atheist. You don't agree with the fact that he mm -hmm. doesn't deal with first Bible scriptures and stuff. Yeah, but what but they got to do with him calling my pastor lesbian and saying that she running a gay and lesbian church? What they got to do with it? They're calling me a feminist lesbian. We ain't fucking you. Oh, I'm now a feminist lesbian just because I ain't let you. Come in my now, pussy because I ain't let you oh, into my pussy in 2013. So time, now I'm a, I'm a feminist lady. Take your time. Don't go into that part, Sister Noble. Don't go into that I, part. I wouldn't let you come. I mean, else, into Sister me Noble. or whatever in 2013. So I'm a, I'm a feminist lesbian now. What kind right. of bullshit is that? I think it's more of an energy here that. Now all you I'm know. saying is because he has an opinion. Sister so Karen ain't no goddamn lesbian either. This that's another thing. thing. That's an opinion, Sister Noble. That woman is not no lesbian. That don't make it true. That don't make it true. Let me ask you a question. Let me just ask you one question, Sister Noble. Have you ever just, I'm just being realistic, you and your pastor having a conversation. Have you ever had an opinion about somebody that maybe you dislike or something that maybe go to the church? But she still communicate with this person. Oh well, yeah. So we all have an opinion so, about folks. So why is it because he has an opinion that about my pastor being a lesbian? With him about that. That's just an opinion, sis. That ain't nothing to fall out with him about. He, he got opinions. He got the right to have an opinion. I understand you saying that you and your pastor close, but you know your pastor. You yeah. don't know her. Like you said, woman but, like a second yeah. mother to me. Been knowing her since I was thirteen years old, and that woman is not no gap, no damn well, lady. So so wait a minute, have you ever invited him to your church? Have you? Yeah. Ever, I ain't gonna invite him, you know, at this point. But so how he's supposed yeah. to? So how will he not have to have the? <laughs> so you can come in there and try to embarrass me in front of folks in the church? Nope. He might would have came in there and actually been able to see that the lady's a nice lady. You know what? That she cares about. Like he can he can go online and check out the the, the sermons online. But I I'm saying you the information. you don't want to even involve him in being around. I, I sent you the information. That, mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. Then how he's supposed to know if if you his wife? I don't, I don't want him around me. You know, but he he is more than welcome to come to the church. I just don't want him around me. So let me he ask is more than welcome to come to the church. Let me ask you a question. He is so more than welcome to come to the church. I just don't want him okay. around me. Outside of Black Sun's opinion of your pastor, what has he done wrong to you? I ain't got time for that right now, sister. I got to go for real. I got to go for real. I really do. I ain't trying to be funny. I really have to go. I really have to go right now. I understand. Because I really have to go. It's not that I'm trying to get off the phone or get off the live stream with you. I just really have to go. No, okay, I, now if y'all can wait for me, then uh, y'all can wait for me about one hour, then I'll, I'll be back on. Okay. <laughs> I just want y'all to know because we got some liars, liars. We got some liars in our 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 life, and you know we're exposing them today. Okay, Absolutely. on on this platform, we're exposing all these liars today. I've never been a drug addict or an alcoholic. Mm -hmm. I've never shit on my bathroom floor. I've never mm -hmm. shit on myself. Uh, no dicks have ever been up my anal. Um, my anal uh, rectum or whatever. Uh, I've never had any foreign objects up my anal rectum or whatever. Nothing. No dicks <laughs> at all. And I've I, never raped in one. My shit, I can hold my shit, okay? So, yeah. you know, uh, my pastor is not a lesbian. She is not running a gay and lesbian church. 
I'm not a feminist lesbian. Ken, uh, Karen is not a, a lesbian. Okay. So I just want y'all to know that. Okay. Anyway, mm -hmm. uh, let me finish reading this text message uh, that this nigga sent me uh, on September 27th. Okay, this see, it started with this bullshit right here. Hmm. Why did you say I did not eat your pussy? Was it because your oh, Karen, was it because you, Karen, would not approve or something? He said, yeah. He said, hum, why did I say I did not, why did you say, he said, hmm, why did you say I did not eat your pussy? Was it because you knew Karen would not approve? That what he wrote me? Yeah, uh-uh, I'm showing it all. Y'all see that? I'm showing it all. I'm bringing all the receipts. Okay, I'm bringing all the receipts. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Why did you say I did not eat your pussy? Was it because uh, you knew Karen would not approve? And, and uh, I did not respond to any of these text messages, by the way. Mm -hmm. This was September 27. He sent me these text messages. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, numerous, times, uh, numerous times you told Aaliyah you were not dealing with Karen on several occasions. Did you not lie to Aaliyah? And also he said, also he said, Hold on, let me go back. He said, and like how you like to show other people text messages, I just wanted you to see how it feels to use people's personal texts to try to expose them. Aaliyah and I are cool and we try time and time again to be your friend. So with that being said, you have too much pride. Your pride is your downfall. With that being said, I would look like a real simp coming on your show after you have talked shit and continue to talk shit about black men. No, thank you. And also he said, let me see one more oh one more Aaliyah is the prototype of a perfect woman and so is nandy in my book i did not respond to this nigga text messages and that was september 27 the next text message this asshole sent me was october 19 i'm trying to show y'all on the screen y'all see the date right there mm -hmm. october 19 was the next text message you sent me it was a video link that was a video link he sent me okay Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, we exposing assholes and liars today. That's what we're doing. So you can take your black ass back on Nut Nut Channel if you want to, uh, and lie and lie some more. Okay. Lie some more. Uh, with a liar. Lie some more. Yeah. With a mentally ill liar. And also, one more thing: this nigga ain't never ate my coo my coochie. He's lying about that too. He never ate my pussy. He's lying about that also. See what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I know. Because Nut Nut is trying to make people think that I tried to rape him. For what? And with what? Like, are you insane? Look, he is insane. It never happened. It's it's so sad. It's uh, You know. I, I, you see, the reason is, why he said, why did you say I did not eat your pussy? Uh, was it because you knew Karen would not approve? See, the reason why he said that is because he was throwing shade then saying that Karen is a is a lesbian. And Karen, he had he had implied that Karen would have a problem with him eating my pussy because she wanted to. It's my the way pussy. he worded. He had implied that that Karen is a right. lesbian. Also, he implied I was a lesbian. Mm -hmm. At that time, that was September 27th. Yeah, see, I know he nothing about that. Asked on Nut Nut Channel on October 25th and said, called me a feminist lesbian, said mm -hmm. that my pastor is a lesbian, and mm -hmm. she is running a gay and lesbian church. And then he brought his fake ass around me the following week after he said all these things about me. Yeah. Okay. See, I had not even known he said that about my pastor and my church at, at the time that he said it, which was October right. 25th. I just seen the fucking video on November 10th. About the same okay. time I seen it. Yeah, that was on Wednesday, November 10th. Okay. I so, seen it before you. Yeah. This yeah. nigga said, oh, okay, let, let's go back up here. Let me show y'all something else. He tried to send me some money last week, and, and I said, uh, I said, uh, I don't need any cash out donation. Thank you. But I do not need any cash out donation. Y'all see that? So I, I don't want nothing from this asshole. Nothing. Because I know you are a liar, you are a hypocrite, and I want nothing else to do with you at all. 
Fuck your apology. I don't want your apology. I don't need your apology. I don't need it. Don't want it. You don't deserve to be in my life. You're, 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 you're an asshole. You don't deserve to be in my life. 